PIX11, your local election headquarters, and one week from Election Day. We're seeing some movement in two crucial congressional races. Yeah, our Henry Rossoff joins us now to break down these two battles for the Hudson Valley. We've been following Henry. Well, Ken Disneyrani, we're talking about the race for the 17th Congressional District and the 18th Congressional District in the upper Hudson Valley. Come Election Day, these House races will tell us pretty early on what we can expect nationwide. And let's take a look at this new exclusive polling in New York 17 uh, done with Emerson College in the Hill. It shows incumbent Republican Mike Lawler now ahead by five points. This race was much closer, still 7% undecided. But let's take a look at our survey from just about three weeks ago. You can see Lawler had just a one-point lead lead here over former Congressman Mondaire Jones, now a five-point lead. So the race widening as we move through here. And there's a huge gender divide we're seeing in this race, one of the most notable ones I've seen of any of the big seven districts in New York. You have Mondaire Jones polling with a plus 16 among women. Check this out, Mike Lawler, plus 27 among men. That's quite a stark difference. Now let's move over to New York 18. Uh, this was also a comparison of three weeks ago. You see a much tighter race, five-point lead for incumbent Democrat Pat Ryan over Republican challenger Allison Esposito, now a nine-point lead. So you see the undecided starting to make some of their decisions and happy with their incumbents in both 18 and 17. Finally, I want to show you how the presidential candidates are doing in these two surveys of 17 and 18. You see Harris with a narrow lead in 17 of three points, uh, Mr. Trump with a uh, one-point lead in New York 18. I can tell you, though, the, the takeaway here should be this is a good poll for former President Trump. He lost these districts by about 10 points. So and Aaron, if this translates to what we see in the suburbs outside of Philadelphia, outside of Detroit, outside of Milwaukee, uh, then Vice President Harris is in big trouble here. What's, what do you think is behind the Mondaire uh, movement there? Because you had the blackface scandal that took place mm -hmm. within the last few weeks. So what's behind that movement? Well, there, there has been two debates, not on our air. We have their, their third and final debate coming up this Friday that I know we're going to talk about in just a moment here. But, you know, the, people tighten up and make their decisions. The undecided number was quite large and so this is just the the normal narrowing and uh, people are coming home to their to their congressman in this particular case all right thank you henry yeah.